Alright, <clears throat> so, I was just d getting distracted with my usual ADHD stuff, going, doing one thing, going to another, doing another, and then not doing the first thing. So, I was like, okay, I'll see how many views I've got on YouTube. Screw it, let's go. So, go to click on, go on my account, and I see this next video. So, before I'm doing anything, I'm just like, okay, I'm, I'm going to react to this. Now, it's... Can a trans man be an alpha male? In brackets, made a leap. And about 21 minutes ago. So, you know, I'm game to look at this. It's by Alpha M, which I've done a few videos on before. Sometimes he has a good point. I think this is going to be a very one, uh, one way he has to take a very fine line on what he says. Um, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens. So... What's up, gentlemen? So I might delete this video tomorrow because it goes against the rules that I've set for myself in terms of this YouTube channel, which is don't talk about things that are controversial, whether or not it's religion, politics, or you know, social issues that I personally don't have a lot of experience with, I shouldn't talk about. But it's kind of fair. Don't talk about what you don't know about. I'm going to follow pretty much the same, I think, because, you know, I can't talk about what I don't know about. The other day I got an email and it really made me think and I'd like to read it to you now. The subject is can transgender men still be alphas by our friend Cannon. He says, hello Mr. Marino, I'm hoping you'll see this email and maybe get back to me or even make a video about it. I'm a transgendered man, meaning I was born a girl but now identify as a man. I was wondering your stance on this. Can I still be an alpha male? Can I still unlock my alpha side? I mean, going from taking away the whole alpha, beta, sigma, delta, and gamma, if I'm remembering that correctly, um, things has our all constructs made to make people fit into square boxes. There's already, I've already done a video on the reacts of it, where there's the alpha male and alpha female, so alpha trans, trans people, in whichever way they want to go, could, if they wanted to fit themselves inside these alpha boxes, or alpha, beta, gamma, boxes why not that is, <laughs> this is something we've made up the alpha or the hierarchy of all of these anyone can fit into any part of what they want irrespective of gender thanks for reading Ken. this makes me a little uncomfortable talking about honestly because um because people freak out you know people freak out when they don't agree with something that you have to say and, um, and that's one of the reasons why I decided from an early you know, time on YouTube not to talk about things that were controversial. I needed to be as, as neutral as possible because you know, this is a business to some degree and I don't want to alienate 50% of my audience because you know that whatever side or stance you take, 50% of the people are going to agree with you, but 50% of the people are going to disagree with you. And I mean... Yes, from a business point of view, you have to take into consideration all of the aspects to try and maximize your profits, etc, etc, etc. But, if it goes against something, and especially as it's your own business that you disagree with, or some, goes against something that you believe in, you then have to go, what's more important to me? What you think and feel and everything around that, and making money. Now, Throughout any of this, I'm just going to be me. Always, I'm to have that split of I want to make money and I can do this. I'm taking this. Like yes, if there's a whole whole load of money, most people would go yes, yeah, we I'll go for the money, go for the money, go for the money. But I'm comfortable enough with what I am that I could do this. And stick with being myself so let's see how he goes let's see what he picks and that was not something that i was interested in doing now of course i've got my own opinions i've got my own feelings but one of the things that drives me crazy is when these people or celebrities that have a platform start talking about things that they're not qualified to talk about the reason why i started this youtube channel was to help people period i didn't specify or qualify whether or not i was only helping men but it kind of evolved to kind of feel like that, right? I mean, when you look at my audience or my demo, like 98% are men. There are a few women, and then I'm sure there are a few, you know, transgendered 
you know, dudes out there as well. You know, and the whole transgender thing, I don't understand it. I also don't understand why people get so mad or upset about things that don't directly impact them or affect them. I can, I can, if he's going to go the way that I'm hoping he's about to go with this, with the whole, if it doesn't affect me, but it affects others, then they can talk about it. I, I can't say anything about transgender rights. I believe everyone should be treated equal. Irrespective of gender, race, whatever. Everyone should be equal. In my world, everyone starts at this level of respect, and then your actions from then mean you either get more respect or less respect. If you're a complete prick, it's going down. Irrespective of any other situation. Let's see how it goes. I don't understand why people hate people just for being different. To me, it doesn't matter if you're gay. It doesn't matter if you're straight. It doesn't matter if you're black. Doesn't matter. Well, okay. If you're white. You're Hispanic. It doesn't matter if you identify as a man, a woman, a chicken. It doesn't affect me. It's how you choose to live your life. Something else I know is that life is hard. It's hard for all of us. Okay. And if you can be comfortable <coughs> in your own skin, this is one of the most... This is one of the most amazing things that you could possibly hope to if you can be comfortable in your own skin you've won three quarters of the battle you can be comfortable in your own skin and get your mental health great D done like just go soar to the high heavens and kick ass to achieve and accomplish today i want to talk a little bit about what i personally feel an alpha is and let you decide for the person that wrote that email, for you out there watching this video. You know, I am a five foot six, small little Italian dude. Most people typically would not consider me to be an alpha male, but I consider myself to be super fucking alpha. And there are reasons, there are specific- <coughs> Super fucking alpha. That should be his uh, first album, if he ever releases one. I'm super fucking alpha. <laughs> Anyway. Things that I feel that <coughs> Alpha possesses. And I actually wrote a list to a go list. over with you guys today for you just to understand, in my opinion, what it means to be an Alpha. Whether or not it's male, female, chicken, koala bear, it doesn't matter. If you do these things, you're an Alpha. Number one, Alphas are valuable individuals, right? They bring a tremendous amount of value to not only the people around them, but the world. Alphas are striving to not only make themselves better, but the world a better place. I'm not saying you gotta open up a charity to rescue kittens, but what you do, what- But you should always rescue the kittens and the puppies. What you say, your words, your actions, you are trying to lift people up as opposed to pressing them down. Number two, mm -hmm. alphas are strong, mentally, emotionally, and physically. Not meaning- Which is what something everyone should try and strive for. If you get all of those, you are much better. Not like saying other people aren't better, but in yourself, you will feel better. You will be more motivated. You can go off and do things and just be like, look, I've got this. you got to be able to bench 250 pounds, but Al... Hey, when they do this now, I have to... Obviously. 250, LBS, seen KG. 113. Oh, I can do that. Okay. Fine, I'm alpha now. No, he's saying that you don't have to be able to do that. And you don't. It's also, it's respective of your body weight. Someone who's 200 pounds will probably be able to lift 250. We're easier than someone who's... I, I can't do it in pounds. Someone who's 70 kilos will be able to... will have a harder time benching 115 than someone who's 100 kilos. Mass moves mass. And I'm learning that as I'm getting bigger because I'm now 14.4 stone. Heaviest I've ever been. Still a bit weird about it. But mass moves mass. But you don't have to be. You don't have to be like, I can lift this much weight. To be strong. There's many meanings around it. Oh, shit. Fucked up. 
doctors take care of themselves. They take care of their body. They take care of their mind. They take care of their heart. Number three, alphas deal with their shit. They don't run from it. They don't push it down. They don't <coughs> act like they don't have problems. If they've got something they've got to deal with, they deal with it in order for them to be strong mentally, emotionally, and physically. Gentlemen, this is something that I struggled with for the majority of my life because I was holding on to a lot of baggage from some of the shitty things that happened to me in my past. I had some abusive stepfathers that I've talked about before. I had some unhealthy relationships. It took me taking action, going to therapy, and dealing with my shit in order for me to finally be alpha. The next you don't need to do those things to be alpha. You should do, the, do those things to help yourself. I, I'm just crap I've been through. It's fine. I've dealt with it. I'm okay. I can do things like this. I can work out. I can go outside. I can, I can do all these things. I could hold down a job. I could do all of this because I took, it doesn't have to be a certain time, but I took two years away from pretty much everything. Kind of isolate myself. Bit of a hermit now. It's fine. But I am okay. I can now be okay on my own. I can be okay with people. I can be okay just going out doing random stuff. It takes time. It's a battle you have to do for yourself. You don't have to do it to become alpha. Or beta, gamma, omicron, Percy, I8. Whatever. You should look after your mental health. Your physical health. Your heart, which comes under physical health, but my cardio is crap. Um, but you need to, you should focus on all these aspects of your life just to make you better for you. No one else, for you. Next trait of a modern day alpha is somebody who is kind who treats people with dignity, with courtesy, and with respect. But it doesn't mean just respect people or be kind to people that you agree with. It means everybody. You don't have to love everybody. You don't have to agree with the way that they live their life or choose to identify. But what does it matter? What does it what truly does it matter? matter to you and you figuring out what makes you happy? Because I got news for you. Happiness is something that is incredibly elusive. Most people never figure it out. And they spend so much time and energy thinking that it's money, thinking that it's girls, thinking that it's... There's a study that I think it was 110 to 130 grand for someone who's in the lower class, uh, the lower class structure of money and the hierarchy and all that crap. So coming from a lower class family, um, didn't have much growing up. Apparently, if I earned 130 grand a year, that's enough for me to be to have everything I would want, without like going super extravagant. Of, I want a Mercedes Benz every month or whatever, so uh, I can get a house. I can be content. I can be happy. But it's not too much money that I then get the kind of moral part of I have so much. I have to start giving it away. Of the point of you should be kind and give things when you can if you've got excess but apparently after that 130 you start having more excess that you either then start buying too much and then you get yourself in debt and then you go down or you end up like if you end up giving to charities you have to find which charities actually give the money to the people they're supposed to and not give themselves bonuses you what causes you want to help you end up basically having a full-time job of distributing your extra money or you can reinvest it, but then you make more money to then put yourself more in this situation. And it, uh, money, <coughs> pardon me, um, is helpful and can get you bigger, better things. But would they make you happy? I'm sitting in a position where I have a few things that I like. And I have my bass guitars, I have my little Shenron, I have my PC, I have all of this. I have my weights in my other room. It's they, these things make me happy. If I had a super excess of money, I'd be like, "Well, what, what am I going to do with this?" Uh, money can help, but you need to th find things that make you actually happy. And if you get into situations where there's like bad things happen to you, when you are happy, not saying you need to go find bad things. Don't go find trauma. But if you end up 
getting to a point where you are then happy after trauma, it means so much more. You can think, I was in this bad space. Now I'm here. I fought through all of these battles and I'm happy. Yes, let's go. Cars are material yes. possessions when the truth is it's about helping other people. People need to spend less time looking and criticizing and pointing fingers at other people and look in the fucking mirror. Integrity. You want to be alpha, you better have integrity, meaning the characteristic of being honest and having moral principles. Now, morality, I'm not talking about what's moral, what's not moral in a religious capacity. I'm talking about doing what's right as a human. And alpha also doesn't make excuses. He doesn't sit around pointing fingers and bitching about things that he cannot control and alpha is focused on the things that he can affect his own life he is going to try to be the best person that he can but sometimes he's gonna fuck it up so everyone does there was um an interview one of the guys from sas who does wins um i think it might have been foxy um he said something I d I'm going to butcher the, what he said, but it was, he got asked the question, um, how do you deal with certain situations? And he said, what you do, you write a list out and then you cross out the things you can't control and focus on the ones you can. Something to that effect. I, I do that in my head because I never have pen and paper and writing everything down, my brain would just be like, ah, oh, now you've got all this crap. But it's a very good thing to look at thinking of doing. If you've got a list and you can't control A, B, D, F, and G, but you can control all the others, focus on the ones you can do stuff with. They might take out the other stuff. Sometimes he's yeah. not going to live up to his own standards, but you know what? He identifies it, he acknowledges it, and he moves forward. And Alpha's motivated. Right? An alpha is somebody who goes after what he wants. He doesn't sit around, he's not lazy, he's not waiting for success to happen or to find him. He's going out and getting it. He's making it happen. Which you can do by learning. Just learning things. I spent a few years not learning a lot. After school and college and uni. I then didn't focus on learning new things. And then I did a mental health first aid course and was like, I'm learning, I'm taking this information in. It was also something I'm interested in, so I learned it better. Um, I was more interested in it, I focused more. I've then found out that I really like learning new things again. So then I did the Suicide First Aiders course, and now I'm doing a Master's in um, Computer Science and Cybersecurity, because I like learning new things. Keeping learning, and or keep learning, and increasing... Not only your value, because then I can go to new places and be like, hi, I, I've got a list that I know. It feels good, especially when you pass those things. Like, in a year and a bit, I should, fingers crossed, pass the master's course. And then I'd be like, I did that for me. Let's go. Like, it, it's helping. A bit stressful at times, but it's part of the reward at the end is going to be like, Damn, I did that. He's choosing to take the path that he needs to take in order to get there. Now, once again, this path, it's not straight. It's windy as hell. And an alpha knows, yo, sometimes I'm going to hit a speed bump. Sometimes I'm going to hit an asshole who's going <laughs> to think that I'm a bad person for being different. The truth, you need to run their ass over, gentlemen, because you should not ever allow somebody to make you feel bad about who you are, which brings me to the last trait of an alpha, and that is you are confident. Confidence, it boils down to being confident. If there was one trait that distinguishes an alpha but from everybody else confident not cocky or arrogant because they are different and they do give off completely different vibes and confidence can be amazing cockiness normally means you're a prick you you can't control what you like confidence can be controlled you can use it in certain situations you can go forth and do things cockiness is just you haven't dealt with certain shit and now you're cocky and you're an a-hole and just 
just don't be cocky. It is confidence. It's believing in yourself. It's being comfortable in your own skin. Life is hard. And this is one of the most challenging things that you were ever going to have to do. But I'm telling you, if you can finally unlock your inner feeling of peace, contentment, and live your life accordingly with character, with integrity, and with honesty, you are alpha. It doesn't matter whether or not you got a big sack of nuts or if you're a dude who identifies as a dude or whatever, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care. So you might have butchered how to say that. The meaning I think he was going for, it seems like he was going for, was it doesn't matter what gender you are. You can be alpha if you have these traits. Care how you identify. I care about the quality of person that you are. Be a decent human being, and this is alpha. That, some of the ways that he said them could have been articulated a bit better. Then again, I screw it up quite often, so I can't really say much. But, he's right. I I did gold stars on one thing or points one of the two, he gets gold stars for this. He's focused. He's made sure. Just do that a minute. Um. It it is if you're going for the whole alpha thing, but basically even if you just take the alpha bit apart, you should do all these things anyway. You should have the integrity. You should be kind. There's a thing I saw where, well, actually, it's kind of a thing I saw and then kind of thought I'd do that too. You can tell a lot about a person by how they treat certain animals and th basically things that are smaller and weaker than them. Now, people who hate cats and dogs, not are scared of them, who hate them and, like, abuse them. That animal is smaller and weaker than them. They're an a-hole because you should be kind, you should be loyal, you should try and be confident something I'm still working on but you should try and be confident you should try and be mentally strong physically fit just so you can live longer it doesn't matter if you're whatever gender or race you are you can be alpha if you want to be alpha just try and be a good person that's that's the overall message that he's saying and I'm going to jump on and say too because if you're a good person good <laughs> you're, you're doing great now I've got links down below if you want to go to see them there'll be some in the description I'm not going to go through them all because the message from this is be a good person regardless of gender or race just try and be a good person and I give Alpha, I don't know his name, but I give him kudos for this one. Yeah, congratulations, man.